morning. <laughs> so, um, today's a big day. Um, why? Because I am finally going to show you guys what's inside of here. Um, but that's not the main reason. Um, the thing is I actually have an interview today. So I thought, let me do a video on like a get ready with me for a zoom interview. I don't have to go in person yet. Um, this is my second round. Um, and I, yeah, I was like, let me just make a video out of this, make two birds with one stone and get this up and get ready for that at the same time. So I already got a banana. I already got an everything bagel. Um, now it's just time to get ready. Um, and I did want to do um, a haul. I said this in a previous video on my closet where I have stuff from The Limited and New York and & Co. Um, and like I said, those are like businessy type clothes that I have from those two companies. So I was like, let me incorporate them into this video um, because I have to make that haul anyway. It's like, all right, let's get all of it out of the closet so you guys can watch me do that process. The interview is not until one o'clock, so I have plenty of time to, again, maybe like get three birds with one stone, clean out the closet of all those clothes, get ready for the interview, and tape a video. Perfect. So let's get started. Okay, I have this cup here. Um, eventually, I'm going to go for some ice, but let's get into here and take this off, all of my hair. Um, I already washed my face. I also need to do my makeup too, so I said let me just do everything here while on tape. So, alright, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! It looks crazy. I know. It's it's so bad. Um, you guys can see all of my this has all of my skincare stuff and hair stuff in here from artistry and my additions these two towers here i got from um, target but like this is where everything stays and then of course all of my closet um i transferred all of my clothing onto these type velvet black hangers from the every like i used to have all those random clothing hangers that you would get whenever you shop for clothes and if they let you keep the hanger so one day i just switched all of these but the small ones that don't have this bar i actually broke like three of them so i gotta go back and i got them from target um it was a big one of the big boxes um i think it was like 60 bucks but i need to go back and get the ones without this um because i broke like three of them but i always go and i always forget so, all right, let me first is brush or comb her hair. But other than that, I need to start getting all this clothing out. Not all, just the limited and the New York and Co stuff out. And I need to eat. <laughs> here is the closet more in person. Yeah, I know. Up there, I have like bags and whatever else up there of course all of my skincare stuff is here then we got more skincare artistry gnh you can see all that plus makeup remover um things right over here um my scrubs a lot of books and then this is like more books from like college and stuff and then of course i have some shoes down here and business pants and skirts business shirts um more business shirts and jackets and then the random shirts and stuff that you would get um randomly um i also have obviously um drawers and stuff but this is just the closet area so we actually have to go through this so that i can have an easier move out because i said that i was moving so that was actually or maybe another video soon will be great for me to start looking into getting these things cleared out <laughs> i ate here's my ice um i put it in my shaker blender what my blend you know what this is uh this is from body key <laughs> uh, um neutralite from my company um and i haven't done my moisturizer yet so normally i do this gel cream on days that i'm home um i'm not obviously going to work today um but since we're doing makeup 
I will do this one. This is Artistry Studios um, Hydro Primer. Hopefully you can see, there we go. Hydro Primer. Um, it smells like, what is it, grapefruit? And it, um, it's a very cooling sensation when you put it on. So um, I'm not putting on any sunscreen because again, I'm not going outside that I know of unless I need to go like pick up something real quick. But yeah, I'll just put this on. I haven't put this on yet since I washed my face. Um, duh, Nisa put on the damn thing. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, so rub this in all over. Um, it very smooth, very light. And when it's on and when it dries, it has your skin very smooth and ready to apply on makeup. I put this everywhere, uh, all over the eyes, all over the face, just everywhere. Um, and you can use this um, as regular moisturizer too. It doesn't even have to be for um, before skincare. I know guys like to use this because like it just gives that cooling sensation. Um, so like great for the mornings, especially, especially after you've like slept, like it's getting warm out. So, um, I had to like turn off my heater because it was too hot under this giant comforter. Uh, I can't wait to get a new bed spread because this thing is just too hot. Um, and then when I try to sleep with only the sheet, um, it's too late. <laughs> like, uh, the bed spread that I had before I moved to this place was, um, lighter. I don't know if it's maybe because it was the area. Um, but I was upstairs. Now I'm downstairs and it's just so cold. But at the same time, this thing is too thick for it to be, um, for me to say that I'm cold because it's supposed to keep me warm, but then it gets too hot. So, um, let me go put these back. Oh, and my phone, I got storage on my phone again. Oh, sorry. I got storage on my phone again. Um, the problem, I went to go call Apple Care um, and I tried to go through everything. I'm like, okay, what are they gonna ask me? They're gonna ask, did you update the system or did you um, clear out your deleted folder? So I couldn't update my system because it was too full. It said you need storage. So then I went to my deleted and it said I had around 600 things in there. And I was like, oh, that's not the problem, but okay, let me delete it. Um, and then when I delete it, instead of saying 600, it said 717. And then once I said delete all, all the storage went down. I was like, are you kidding me? All this time I had to delete my deleted. So I didn't even have to talk to anybody. I just got it done. So um, I got some storage back on my phone. So we can do some vlogging outside of the house. Um, I know I've been inside and I know someone's going to say like, can you leave? <laughs> But, like, I don't like going outside. I like staying home. But, okay. Back to this. So, uh, I actually think I want to do my hair. Um, I think I want to actually put some curls in it. I haven't put curls in it for some time. But let me do my makeup, um, before I even think of going into that thing. Because this is, that's, ugh, it's going to be a lot. Um, I don't, well, not necessarily because I have two sets of clothes left to do stop the stop it um the first thing is my um powder foundation again this is just the easiest thing for me to use honestly um the two sets of clothes that i mainly have in there is my vintage stuff i want to say that i got from my mom um and wherever else she got it from but also um my limited and and um New York and Co stuff. I only, honestly, I only got like two things from New York and Co. My mom has more stuff. Um, I just got like maybe like a cardigan and something else. I honestly I have to look at the tag. But the biggest thing is to be going through all of that vintage stuff to make sure that I don't pick that up and say, oh, this is limited because it's not. They have like those random layers, um, random names on them. Um, from like companies that I've I've never heard of before and I think that's because she got it she probably got it from like d department stores or something I have no idea where she could have gotten these from but um th honestly that the vintage video would be better for me to do but um and most of the stuff is business stuff so that would be better but the limited is smaller so and because they all have their tags on it I'm like let me just do them because then I know that everything else is gonna be 
just randomly um, named clothing. So you haven't seen this yet, I don't think. I'm using, ooh, okay. I'm using this, let me stop that. Um, this is my pink chocolate quartz um, found foundation um, powder eyeshadow palette. Uh, I will be using that for my eyes shadow. I really don't wear eyeshadow, so this is going to be a first, but let me just do my eyebrows. So in this pot that I got from um, Artistry, um, this is a, it's called a three in one brow shaper. I don't know if, can you see that? Uh, um, I really don't know what the three in one is, um, but I like that it looks cute in this little Eiffel Tower thing. You saw how I took out the brush and really, what is that? Okay. <laughs> and really all I do is I do the tail of my brow and the front end of it and just draw it in everything else of my brow is of normal um fullness so i do not have to do that much work if you can see the difference i am not that great you see that compared to this like that's all that i do um nothing extraordinary why is that looking like that? I try to keep this nice and clean. Um, the last time that I had a pot of makeup like this, um, I think I got it from e.l.f. and I think it was, um, or Revlon, and it was for um, eyeliner in a pot with a brush. And I don't think I ever put it on properly, and I think I put it on too dark. Um, so now this is like, and that was back in high school. So this is like the first time, like literally, I'm talking to you while I'm drawing this on, like I, <laughs> I do not need like the precise exact, and this is only an interview, like I'm not even going to be doing makeup like this every day, not unless I feel like it, I gotta see. Um, ooh, I think that's too much. Oh no. Okay, so when I feel like I do too much, I don't know what it looks like, I don't know if it's bad, I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist, I just take this spoolie here and I just rake it um, throughout the rest of the hairs just to even it out. Um, I had to add more onto this side because this one is just a bit too dark. Um, and just bring it along and make it go into the shape of my brows. Um, yeah, I still think that this one's a little bit darker than this one, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Um, Next, okay, so I've been watching some makeup, um, people doing makeup on YouTube. Um, just by me watching them, I'm gonna try and attempt to do what they did. Um, where is it? So she takes a fluffy brush, but I don't have that in this. I think this is the fluffiest. It's my contour, yeah, eye contour brush. Um, I don't really like the little one that it came with, so we're just going to let that fall there. And I see that she does, um, what did she do? She took the, the darker, I don't know, okay, I'm going to take the darker color, so I'm going to take this dark color right here, and I'm just going to go on the outside of my eyes and bring it all the way around, and then she does a little line here see i have hooded eyes she doesn't um so i know like oh you're supposed to know your eye shape and like how it's supposed to work i do not again not the greatest with makeup as we literally are watching me do this right now okay you can see the difference right i don't have the best cameras here um i should be doing this on my phone because i just got that storage back but I don't have my um, my holder for my phone. Um, it's attached to the um, the selfie stick. That's what lets me hold the phone, and that thing is so dusty. And I would have to put it here on the bed, and I don't I don't like to touch my bed with stuff that's been on the floor. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so I am just creating that that winged shape out of this darker shadow. And then I will go in with, I have a light pink or I have that light brown. I think I'm going to go in with the pink 
and put it on the actual lid itself um, just to give it a lighter effect and also because I didn't even put anything on the lid so there we go um, I didn't look I didn't use any concealer to shape the eyebrows because again I didn't perfect it that I still have to learn right now let's do like one step at a time the first step right now is just shadow can you even see that I did anything gosh let's put more to me I see a little bit but to you it's probably like at least you look the same like are you really even putting anything on the brush <laughs> so I'm just going in again um packing on a little bit more color and I remember when I would watch girls do their makeup I think they like <laughs> when I watch girls do their makeup I'm like how did you get all that pigmentation on the brush because to me wait did that do something because to me um like it looks like how did you get all that color on your eye because to me like when you when i put it on there's like nothing there okay i'm gonna take the same dark and i'm gonna put it underneath the eye along not the waterline but like make it give that continuous effect as if that uh little wing thing is going underneath the eye as well um I'm learning, okay? I'm learning. Don't don't come after me. I have no idea what I'm doing with makeup. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing something. I don't know if you guys are, but I can definitely tell that I don't look as ghostly as I did when I first woke up. Like, you can see a little bit of pigmentation, right? So now I'm going to take my long wear eye pencil here. I have it in graphite. I lost the cover for this blender thing so well I'm just gonna make have this be my wing I'm not using the liquid because um, I really don't feel like taking it off when it's done and I do just the smallest little uh, line at the end to make that wing effect um, yeah you guys really cannot see this but oh well um, I put it at the bottom and on the top um, and then one second okay and then I will use my eyelash curler I found the little piece thing that goes in there it was like underneath itself in my case I don't know how I did not see it I guess because I just have too many lip products in there that's mainly what I have in there is lip stuff um, and I do have another eye um, eyebrow thing but uh, it's from the Los Angeles collection. It's like waterproof. Um, but I was like, let me use this one first because this is from the Paracene edition. It's limited edition and there's a lot of it. Whereas that one, it's more liquid based and it's a s tiny, tiny little spoolie. So when, um, and plus it's waterproof. Like I don't want to have to take that off right now. Uh, so eventually I'll get to that. Let me just buff up my eyelashes because I'm also going to put on my eyelash primer. What am I doing? Um, <laughs> so that I can have my lashes stand out. I'm doing zoom on this computer, so if this is how the video was looking on the my regular video, imagine what it looks like on zoom. Um, so it's not going to be like, oh my god, she hasn't too much makeup or like, it's more going to be like, does she even have any on? Cause you guys are literally seeing me put this stuff on and I'm pretty sure you can't even see it. <laughs> so it is, it is what it is. Let me out. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Let me just finish this. Okay. So here's the eyelash primer. Um, everything is artistry. I'm all artistry. All right. Um, business owner. Hello. <laughs> so here it is. This is my mascara base primer and this is what it looks like. It's white. Um, and it makes it look a little ghostly. So be prepared. Uh, I have a second one. I don't know if this one is dry enough. Okay. There you go. You can see it. I'm so glad I have all this time to do this. Like, I can actually pay attention and actually, I'm actually learning how to do my makeup right now as we speak. 
so you're watching me but i'm honestly like figuring this out like i don't put on makeup can you see the <laughs> like you can kind of see it right goodness and i put it at the bottom too my bottom lashes are very very small so this helps tremendously in that department and i just put it on both sides yes i switch hands i know others don't i don't care it's just easier okay so i just let it dry i put it on both eyes i know it looks like white that's the um, primer on it so now i'm taking my three in one mascara again i already put it but it's on the smallest size let's see you can switch it it could turn to this long length or you can have it at the shirt length. Hopefully you saw that turning. And now let me just put on the smaller length on both eyes, top and bottom. First coat, and then I will put on a second coat. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this process already, uh, but it's a get ready with me, so we're doing it again. Here is the first coat on the first eye. Again, I pushed this up while it's drying just to have it curl you can tell the difference from when it doesn't have anything on to what it does have on so now let me do the other eye and i will do the second coat so here's the second coat uh with the longer extent of the brush uh, just making sure i get all the strands i normally blink into it mm. Hmm. Okay. So let's put that back down just to be ready for the next time I gotta put it in. Um, everything is here with me in this container thing. That's why I love this, especially when I have to travel. Um, when we used to travel to places. Um, again, push up the lashes just to make sure that they curl while drying uh, and like i don't really put on false lashes the only time you would see me put false lashes on is when i really want my eyelashes to show um in a video i think i did that maybe once or twice here i know i did it in my um express haul um but i don't think i've done it since I was I used them more on TikTok, but I stopped using them just because I didn't feel like putting them on. Like I have mascara and I have lashes, so like why would I put that on? Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, obviously, I gotta do my lips still. Um, like I, you really cannot see it here. Um, but for my lip, I'm gonna use this um, jelly plumping lip tint here from the Japanese, the Japanese, the Tokyo edition. Um, this is the pink one. There's two shades. This one, I don't, I don't know how to say this. This is Sakura. It's pink. Um, and when you put it on, here's, here's the applicator, right? Like it's so shiny and it has that, um, like almost heart shape thing going on. So when I put it on, if I have on lip balm, it like smudges all over. I put on a little bit because I know like this is a tint, so it's not supposed to. Like, do you see how it's? <laughs> like, do you see that? Like, it's not. Like, it's so wet. So what I do is I take this. It's a two-in-one, so it has the um, the lip pencil in it, and it has a brush on the end. So I don't need. Should I put on the lip? No. Wait, let's see. First, let me use the brush and just like brush it on the lips uh, to make sure that it stays on or like applies properly. I'll hurry up before it dries in there. Mm. Like I just have to keep reapplying until I get to the shade that I like. Like it's so water-based. Um, no, we're not going to put on any lip liner. It's okay. I don't know for my girls out there who like lip liner. I'm not putting it on. I'm sorry. 
it's just gonna have to smudge <laughs> honestly um with my lips um the middle here and here is the wettest so it sometimes collects down there and it's like no i have to take the brush and like spread it downwards uh and it has a nice taste to it. Everything here is made from plants. Um, it's vegan. So um, if you're tasting a little bit of like a flavor to it, you're tasting whatever plants it was made out of. I don't think these are in stock anymore either. Um, again, these are limited edition. Like, um, what is it? The, the latest edition is the Los Angeles edition. I think they come out with a new edition almost every every year or like every six months so tokyo not tokyo um los angeles has been out for some time and they're like running out of supplies but i think they restart restocked some stuff i also thought that they, they were um discontinuing our light up lip glosses but they just stopped the ones that they had and they made new ones so i don't think we're ever gonna get rid of them yay but um this i think this is still up i'll have to see um if it is, I'll list it down below with the other products that I used today um, so that you guys can just copy and paste the name into my website and then you can go search for it there. I can't put the direct link of the product down below because it's it's too big, even though I use Bitly to shorten, um, to shorten um, websites, but it's just easier if you just copy and paste or type it into the search bar when you get onto my website um, listed down below. So, this is it for my lit, for my makeup routine, okay? Nothing major, not like, oh my gosh, you did a full face of makeup, like that's not even the case. Like I barely put on anything. The most that you probably see on me is the gel, is the jelly lip tint and it's a lip tint. Like it's not a lot. <laughs> I don't do makeup. Ah, okay, so let's get back into there and get into the clothes. <laughs> so I'm adding my um, Rose Petal Light Up Lip Gloss um, Artistry on top of my tint because I see that it's already getting into the cracks on my lip and I just want it to look smooth. So I'll add this on top and the tint is going to give it an effect of even when the gloss like um, fades away the color will still be there because of the tint so I like that and I forgot to say that the other shade that they had for the tint it was um, a red I forget what they called it um I don't know but that's it so let's get into the clothes with the foam of all that stuff okay so we're gonna put it over here oh no okay so for the limited, right? Like I literally have to go through all of this to see. Okay, so here's one. Nope. Express. Oh my god. See? Like I can't even find any. Okay, I know I have a lot of pants. So I'm just gonna put on some music. And I'm literally going to just put them over here um, and we'll have a little pile growing. Okay. a lot less than I thought I had there's like seven things here so I do not have enough to do a haul for these two clothing um, brands I tried to show the label of it so here's New York & Co um, hopefully you guys can see that 
And then for the limited, let's get back that shirt. No. <laughs> Pull. Okay. Here is the tag. So honestly, I think we can do that like right now. Um, I still have time. It's only 1045. I've been up early <laughs> and it's not until one. So I definitely have enough time to do these few garments um, before that thing comes. And I actually found a pants from Forever 21 that my mom had um, that was in my closet. So I'm going to try that on here as well. <laughs> okay, so here is two different things. So this pants first, let's start with this. This is the one from my mom. Um, this is the Forever 21. It's not that it's tight at all. Um, it's tighter here and then it flares out at the bottom. I know you can't really see it, but you can see it hanging. Um, it kind of is dipping. So I need to put on a belt when I'm wearing this and it has no pockets in the front. It has these slits here, but honestly, they're just fake. The pockets, are they back here too? No. No, this has no pockets. Okay, and then this shirt is from The Limited. Um, it's just a regular, I want to say like four inches. This is what I could wear to like, remember high school when you had to use like the four finger dress code for the shoulder for the shirts. It has this little slit right here. Um, it has this lined detail i turned on the light so you guys can see it only in the front because the back is just plain um so i think this would be the one that i would wear for the shirts i have others let me go put those on so here's the other pants the black pants that i would also wear um for with the matching with that black shirt um i wore these before in a picture that i have up on the instagram um just regular black slacks these do have pockets in the front do they in the they do in the back as well, but it's very small. Um, so yes, I would wear these. And then this is my first shirt that I want to say, sweater shirt that I got from The Limited. Um, this has this, um, this mesh detail down here that's connected to the bottom of the long sleeve. I normally would wear this with leggings. And I remember when I wore this in college, someone said, oh, you look like a teacher, Anissa, because I had it with a scarf on too. Um, very is a low cut here um but it's nice and warm too so all right next so keeping on the black slacks um these are actually very baggy you can see like it all like moving around me <laughs> but here is actually a shirt from new york and co so this one is a high low shirt um i was debating on if i even want to hold on to this you can see my bra not the right bra for this shirt um with the lights but um just because of the high low because i'm like at least i can tuck it in the back but then if i do that it just looks like a regular shirt so then what's the point um i still have it in the closet like i i don't know if i want to hold on to this or not but I, let me think about it okay so this is probably a very bad pairing um but first let's talk about these pants all right so these are my other khaki pants i believe i only have two it's these ones and the ones from papaya but I believe these ones are officially too small for me. You can see it here. Um, you can see it in my legs. Like it's just, it's too small. You can see any, everything. I know you can see my underwear. Um, <laughs> the lining that goes under, I had to like put it to the side because if I were to sit down in this, it would completely suffocate her. So these pants gotta go. Um, I have the other ones from Papaya and I believe those ones were okay. Um, I have to actually double check that. I thought I saw two, two khaki pants, but if that's not the case, then I just don't have khaki pants anymore, which is fine. And then this shirt from um, New York & Co. This one is very heavy. Not heavy, heavy, but it's like it has some weight to it. Like this is not something to wear in the summer at all. Um, this is very good for like if you're in the office. Um, it's almost like a blanket in a way just because of the like flowiness and it's like attached down there so I really like this shirt um I know my mom has it in a black and white you can see the white um throughout it or the lighter blue so they had it in a black with like gray in it so my mom has that one and I have this blue one but 
yeah that's it all right um i think i have two more pieces so i know i still have on the pants forget the pants i just put on this tube top oh my god Okay, I just put on this tube top because I wanted to showcase this sweater, this cardigan, sorry. Um, it has the regular looking of a cardigan, long sleeve shirt, but then in the back, it's like that meshy see-through detail. I love to wear this in the more um, summer times. Like I would wear even like a bikini under this and then you can see the back see-through. Like it's very nice for like, let's say you're you're on the beach on the on the like, um, the boardwalk, let's say, and you want to go into a store real quick, you're going to have um, to just throw something on. So this is the perfect thing. This actually, it has a little hole in it somewhere. So I actually need to look into getting more cardigans. So this is really all I have. And then I also have ooh, this black one from New York & Co. So this one's limited. This black one is New York & Co. So let's put that on. hello where is it okay now this one it is only as you can see like short sleeve type not even a sleeve it's very long um and it does have pockets it's very short right here like it only fits my fingertips the rest is just hanging out um i don't trust it to put anything inside of it um this is a knitted material that other one did not have pockets and this is really all that i have for <sighs> new york and co and the limited so since this is a zoom uh interview anyway i don't even don't even need to worry about having a full outfit but if this is what i got i gotta start looking into some actual clothes because this isn't cutting it Okay, on this side of the room, because I just heated up my curling iron, I, like I said, I want to get some something into this. I don't want it to be straight for the rest of the week um, and for the interview. Um, I'm going to use my spray, um, dual, define, dual Define Spray um, from Santanique. Um, it has two layers in it. I just shook it a little bit. It has two layers in it. You shake it, and then it helps you protect against dual because it protects against heat as well as the environment and anything that is in the in the air so even if you're not even um, curling your hair or putting heat to your hair you can still put this on um, I'm just gonna spray it everywhere because I don't know how uh, I'm gonna curl I think I'm just gonna do it curled until it curls so all the way to the whole length of the head and then let it brush it out comb it out sorry comb it out and then um whatever it looks like it looks like it's gonna fall throughout the week i my hair is where i don't need any um hairspray even though i did buy some um also from santony but i don't need it because <laughs> it stays in the head like all i gotta do is wrap it at night and then it will go back straight or if i put it up in a big curly messy bun it will um stay curly so i'm just flopping it everywhere just spraying this everywhere i need to brush i keep saying brush because i used to have a brush and now i'm combing so i just need to comb it uh, make sure i get the ends and it's i think it's done heating now so i can just start spraying it i'll put on some more music you guys can just watch me do this um and for my pants, I actually don't have another khakis, so looks like I I won't be wearing khakis anymore. I don't even know if I want to wear, if I would wear khakis again. I know I wore them like one time, like I think last year. Like I don't wear my business clothes. I don't wear business stuff to work. Like I wear sweatpants and leggings and hoodies all day at where I work. So uh, for this interview, let's see what... Let's see if I get it. <laughs> uh, and then I can start looking into, regardless, I need to start looking into more business clothing. Um, but like, this is not all that I have. I still have um, my vintage clothing. That's probably where most of the pieces that I wear are from. It's just that like Forever 21 and H&M and um, not Zara. Um, what is it? 
what did I just say? The Limited had the most business stuff because I got them from my mom um, because she had all of her business stuff from when she was going into interviews and jobs and stuff. So that's what I have in my closet. So, okay. Now I need to go shopping and perfect timing. I also wanted to do this. Um, it's like away from the face, right? I should be wearing my glove, but I'm not. Oh, I'm scared. Um, I'm so scared. Mm -hmm. I need my glove after this. I'm getting my glove. Um, what was I saying? After, uh, no, I'm glad that I started this um, series where I'm doing um, my clothes because I need to know what, I'm, what I have because I do need to go shopping as we see. Um, one second. <laughs> Got the glove. Okay, so as I was saying, I need to go shopping for clothes. Like, this is not okay. Um, <laughs> so glad I'm doing this series, that's what I was saying. Um, so that I can have I can, an understanding of what is in my closet. This way I can just go for what I need. Like, I'm very practical. So if I don't need it, I don't go for it unless it's something that I really want. Like, the scrubs, for example. Like, I didn't need bath scrubs, but... I saw them and I haven't bought anything for myself like mainly from what I do buy is like laundry detergents, cleaning supplies, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, shampoo, conditioner is all like regular everyday stuff that you need is not not once can I say that hey I actually bought this because I wanted it so when I saw the stuff from Beloved and um, Tree Hut at um, Target I was like oh I want it so I got it <laughs> like I don't I don't get to do that often so that was like a little treat to myself which was good I, I wanted that so I got it um, so this series is helping me to see what is in my closet that I've had did that even go on there this series it's in my eyes now <laughs> is good for me to see what I have in my closet so that I know what I need to go for. Yeah, I know I'm not pinning this up or doing this in any particular way and that is fine. I do not have the patience. I don't care. As long as I'm not hooking in the cord, I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah, the series is letting me see what's in my closet so that I can know what to get when I need it, which is now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like it's time for me to start like shopping for more clothes and stuff. So I'm glad that I'm taping this journey on YouTube as I go. And that way I can um, look back and see like where I came from to where I am like a year from now. Because <laughs> anything can happen in a month. Anything can happen in a year. Definitely in a year. But every month things change. So... Do you see the difference? Do you see how like high this is? Like I also want to look into a new um, curling iron. I know everyone has a $600 like Dyson um, air wrap thing. Um, yeah, I don't think I want that. I think I want like a beach waver. I was, I was looking at those two, but I don't know if I want that brush attachment onto it because those pull my hair. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have like a sensitive scalp or something. I, I, I don't know what, what's, what's going on. Um, that's too much. Um, but I need to, I need to look into stuff. So this is great for me to like, just go through this each step of the way. And if you guys want to join me, that's why you're here. <laughs> subscribe. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. But, um, yeah, like this is just so interesting how I've, uh, turned out this into my reality like I n never thought that hey I'm gonna be a youtuber I'm gonna be here um just living life through a video camera and I only picked up on this life like for the past what year or so like I never looked into this before so this is gonna be a new way of living for me like to have cameras on you like almost 24 7 and the fact that so many people I know from high school would watch YouTube, but like I don't see any of them doing anything like this. So this is interesting for me to see my own journey and how I see this happening. So thanks so much for watching, guys. All right, so let's get back to that music that I said that I was going to play. 
um, so you guys can just see me finish this. Um, this is like half of the head. <laughs> I got this much left to do and I don't think I have anything else to say. <laughs> so I'll see you all when this is done. <laughs> Here's my hair done. <laughs> um, I only did the framing of it. I didn't touch the top middle section of the head. Um, Cause again, it's, I don't know. It's just not like, I like it curly, but like more wavy in a way. So I'm gonna like comb these out once they dry, uh, dry, once they cool down. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah this is this is it um I have like half an hour until the um the interview starts so I'm only gonna put on my um forever 21 black jacket um with the mesh detailing on the back that has the little bow in it um this one if you didn't see the last video uh, with this showcased in it. Uh, I, I've i never seen this anywhere else besides at Forever 21 when I bought it. So very nice and I needed this for something at school. Um, so very nice, you can see right through. Um, and I've held on to it, like I need a new jacket. Um, I have one of my mom's old vintage ones, but and I showed that one also with the gold buttons on it, but um, this is just a quick little uh, Zoom meeting. If I was going in person, that would be the jacket that I wear with the gold buttons. Um, so this is it. Let me put on the jacket so that you guys can see the finished look. <laughs> oh, it's kind of tight. Okay. <sighs> okay. Ta-da! Yep, so this is me, obviously not as curled um, when it actually comes time. I'll let this cool for maybe like 20 minutes, not even, maybe 10. If I even remember to, co to comb it out, I'll use this this big guy here. Um, this fish comb is great. <laughs> three dimensions, three, three purposes. Um, I was going to use this part when I was um, brushing it combing it out when I put this on but I already saw some hair falling and I didn't want to cause more so I used this longer spacier side so yep that is it for this video thanks so much for watching um I hope you guys had fun um spending the day with me basically the morning with me um I think we started around like 6 7 a.m and now it's almost one um it's literally 12 30 right now so I have half an hour to just get my information together. This is the second round and then we'll see. So thanks so much. Bye. <laughs>